xin chào Jojo Kamusta Marhaba Manjo Hello Chào Konnichiwa Chumribsua Sawaddi ha Oi Tessi Merhaba Namaskaram Aoi Yate Minglava Bish Abal Kyoto Labas Language barrier, a figurative phrase used primarily to indicate the difficulties faced when people who have no language in common attempt to communicate with each other. Pues cuando yo llegué, me pusieron una escuela y pues básicamente era todo en inglés y como yo no sabía hablar el inglés y no lo entiendo, era la burla de todos. Me decían que qué hacía aquí, que que yo no pertenecía a este lugar. I think the only obstacle to me is the language barrier because I cannot understand clearly what uh, they're talking about. Speaking with people, like when we uh, like I have appointment to go to the hospital, it was a little bit difficult to get like even direction, like where can I go, like who can I ask? I was even feel afraid to ask people question, like, if I have a question, go there and try to ask them. So that was the most thing that I faced, like scared of speaking the language. Ahorita por ahora no sé, no quiero hablar el inglés, ni he puesto de mi parte para aprender, porque. Se me burlaron una vez y dije que nunca más voy a volver a hablar el inglés. Like for some people it was hard and for me too because they don't understand me what I'm saying and I under I don't understand what they're saying. It's a little bit hard because this uh, th this country is too much diversity so I think I need more time to learn about it. Getting a newcomer is difficult when there are not other students who speak the same language in the class. So, for example, we have a lot of Spanish-speaking students, but we will get a student who's from Japan or China or Iraq, Morocco. It's harder to get through to them. Is this the, the best environment to study in the world? We do offer a good service in helping the students to progress not only in their English, but also in their studies. School is my life. Because in my country, the schools are so bad. The schools are here to study and learn and see our future. We have dictionaries, obviously, as the basic resource. We also have the internet. So we use iPads, Chromebooks, to help use translation tools usually Google Translate. I also use a lot of gestures. I talk with my hands um, and I incorporate gestures for different things to help them get the message. They are not harsh. Like, no matter how if, no matter how you don't know like what you're doing, they take a little step by step to teach you adjust to like to learn because they know you're speaking a new language so it might be a little bit hard for you. It is a great challenge, but a fun challenge to find ways to communicate people who don't speak English. It's difficult to get to know them when you don't speak the same language as them and when there's not another support there. Really what are they talking about and uh, sometimes make me feel a sad because I didn't know what are they talking about. I think that every ELL student is different. So when some are put in a situation where they're just forced to immerse in English, they're successful, whereas others are very intimidated by that and they need kind of a silent period or they need that support to make them feel comfortable to be able to speak English. Mis amigos, ahora mis amigas como que me tratan de ayudar y pues se me hace más fácil. Pues me dan consejos, me dicen que aquí puedo estar mejor que allá y que a pesar de que las personas se burlen de mí, De eso se puede aprender. This is a challenge that I have to pass it because it's a new, new, I mean a new country. Like I have to be part of it. The language barrier is an obstacle that many students migrating to the United States have to face. If you or someone you know is struggling with English, there are many resources available like teachers, guidance counselors, students, and local organizations.